the history of the wrongful imprisonment of black freedom fighters who have become known as political prisoners is deeply intertwined with the broader struggle for civil rights and racial justice in the United States. These individuals, many of whom were leaders in the movements like the Black Panther Party, the Black Liberation Army, and other radical organizations were often targeted by the U.S. government for their activism and resistance against systematic oppression. These stories are not just tales of individual injustice, but reflections of the lengths to which the state has gone to suppress black resistance and maintain the status quo. During the 1960s and 1970s, a wave of black radicalism swept across the United States. Organizations like the Black Panther Party emerged, advocating for self-defense, community control, and the end of police brutality against black people. These groups posed a direct challenge to the systematic racism that underpinned American society and their activism quickly attracted the attention of law enforcement agencies, particularly the FBI. Under the direction of J. Edgar Hoover, the FBI launched COINTELPRO or Counterintelligence Program, a covert operation aimed at surveilling, infiltrating, discrediting, and neutralizing political organizations deemed a threat to national security. The Black Panther Party was a primary target. Members of the party and other black liberation groups were subjected to harassment, false charges, and extrajudicial killings. Many were wrongfully imprisoned, often on dubious evidence or after trials marred by judicial bias and misconduct. Black freedom fighters were labeled as political prisoners because their imprisonment was not just about criminal justice, but about suppressing political dissent. These individuals were often charged with serious crimes like murder, robbery, or conspiracy, but the real reason for their imprisonment was their political beliefs and activities. The state viewed them as threats to the social order and their incarceration was a means to neutralize the threat. For instance, Mumia Abu-Jamal, a former Black Panther and journalist, was convicted of killing a police officer in a trial that many believe was rife with racial bias and procedural irregularities. Asada Shakur, a member of the Black Liberation Army, was convicted of murder after a shootout with New Jersey State Troopers. Still, she has consistently maintained her innocence and her trial was widely criticized for its lack of fairness. Other political prisoners are Jalil Montekin, Albert Woodfox, Sundiata Akoli, Maroon Schultz, Leonard Peltier, and Matulu Shakur. These political prisoners were often subjected to harsh conditions, including long periods of solitary confinement, designed to break their spirits and deter others from following in their footsteps. Yet, despite these efforts, many of these prisoners remain steadfast in their commitment to the struggle for black liberation. We must remember and honor our political prisoners because their stories testify to the ongoing struggle for justice and equality in the United States. They remind us that the fight against systematic racism is far from over and that the state has historically used its power to silence and repress those who challenge its authorities. We must remember and honor our political prisoners because their stories testify to the ongoing struggle for justice and equality in the United States. They remind us that the fight against systematic racism is far from over and that the state has historically used its power to silence and repress those who challenge its authority. Moreover, the legacy of these political prisoners continues to inspire new generations of activists. By remembering their sacrifices, we keep alive the spirit of resistance and ensure that their contributions to the struggle for black liberation are not forgotten. In an era where mass incarceration disproportionately affects black communities and where new forms of state surveillance and repression are being deployed against activists, the lessons of the past are more relevant than ever. We must continue to fight for the release of those who remain behind bars and work to dismantle the system that create political prisoners in the first place. Our political prisoners are not just relics of a bygone era. They are living symbols of the enduring fight for freedom and justice. We owe it to them and to ourselves to keep their stories alive and to continue the struggle for which they sacrificed so much. For more information, make sure you visit my website at www.ontheshoulders1.com. There, you can support my OTSOG book series. You can also support me on Patreon at patreon.com backslash OTSOG. You can hit the super like button under this video. I love you all and make sure you catch the next video coming up.